Before you begin drafting your own career plan, let's look at an example from a postdoc. Her long-term career goal is to demonstrate the importance of her discipline to undergrads through teaching and research. Now, take a few minutes to add in your own career goal. If you're uncertain, now's a great time to return to the resources section of this module, explore more careers, and reflect on what's important to you personally and professionally. Your career plan is a dynamic, living document that should be revisited and updated often. Let's think about the short-term objectives, which will help you along the way to your long-term career goal. In our example, her objectives are to attain a fellowship, develop a plan for undergraduate research, and apply for assistant professor positions at small liberal arts colleges. Now spend a few minutes writing your own career objectives. Think about the short-term objectives that you have for your postdoc and how you might connect those to long-term career goals. We encourage you to have at least two or three objectives for your career plan. Make sure your objectives are smart. Break down each objective into manageable, less daunting subtasks. In our example, the postdoc has three subtasks to develop her plan for undergraduate research. She will identify mentors who have established undergraduate research programs. She can even reach out to her own mentor from her undergraduate research experience. She will read the relevant literature to develop her independent research ideas. And she will draft a research proposal and ask for feedback from mentors. She will use this proposal in her application materials during the next hiring cycle. As you do so, think about how you might answer these three questions. What does success look like for each subtask? What will help you achieve these objectives? And what barriers might you encounter? Take a few minutes to break down each of your objectives and reflect on those questions. Now, attach a time frame to each subtask. Don't forget to mark down a time when you'll assess your progress on each subtask. Indicate assessment as an A. You can see in our example that the subtask of synthesizing the relevant literature will take place over two months after the semester ends. She will assess her progress during the summer. Think about when you expect to work on each subtask and how long each one might take. This is a great place where you can get feedback from your mentor if you're unsure. On the next page, you will share your career plan with your peers for feedback. Remember, this is the first draft of a career plan. You might not have had enough time to reflect on your career goals and build a career plan this week. If not, we still encourage you to fill out the career plan as much as you can, and you can indicate the areas where you are having difficulty. Your peers are here to support you.